Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Malik Arjun. All right, so today I'm gonna quickly demonstrate on uh, how to do a time zone upgrade because this is going to be one of the common asks in most of the interviews and as well as uh, it's gonna be one of the challenging tasks uh, for uh, you know post database upgradation, right? So what I'm gonna show you here, like, you know, I recently upgraded my one of databases from 12C to 19C. And then after that, you know, my time zone inside my database has not been upgraded because when you do a manual method of upgradation and you know so many uh, database upgrade methods but when you select a dbua manual method or db upgrade or cell script or pearl script or the whatever the method of database upgradations you have option to do a time zone upgrade a time zone version upgrade along with your database upgrade or you can do a later once you do a database upgradation right so quickly uh, in this demonstration i'm going to do you i'm going to show you that how you can do the time zone upgrade. So I had uh, this DB1, a database called DB1, which is running under this Oracle Lab 1, which is running from this, uh, run, it, it was running from 12 to 12C uh, version. And then the default time zone version in 12C is V26. And once you upgrade your database, uh, I upgraded my database already to uh, 19C. You can see this is Oracle Home, 19C Oracle Home. And then the default time zone version in 19C is 32. So when you when you do a fresh database inflation from 19C Oracle Home, and your database will be get created and which will be having a default version 32. But when you do a database upgradation, so if you do don't do the time zone upgrade, your time zone version inside your 19C database remain going to be same as V26, which is a default time zone version in 12C. Right. So in this particular today's session demo, I'm going to show you like after your database upgradation from 12C to 19C, how you can upgrade your time zone separately. Right. So this is the overview before database upgrade. DB1 is my database running on this host, running from this 12C Oracle home for time zone version 26. After database upgrade, my DB1, uh, which is again running under Oracle Lab 1, or uh, running from Oracle Lab 1 and running under this 19C Oracle home. So now I'm going to uh, upgrade my time zone to v v32 so very first check is go ahead and check your uh, database version so i can quickly jump here i can do cat etc sorry uh, cat slash etc or a tab uh, as you can see here i had db1 which was running from this 12c oracle home now i upgraded to 19c so i'm just going to connect to my db1 so db1 one okay, once again db1 just verify env pipeline grab capital vara so we can see db1 is a database sid with the oracle base and oracle home is 19c let's connect to your database right so now i connected to my 19c database so i'm going to check the time zone version inside my database it is still pointing to v26 that's a version 26 so this is a command to check your time zone version so still it is pointing to 26 then go ahead and then do upgrade so in order to your time zone upgrade your database must be in upgrade mode i'm going to shut it down and then start my database in upgrade mode you cannot do a time zone upgrade in normal uh or no open mode of your database so you have to start your database in upgrade mode and then uh, start your time zone upgrade right so this is my one of the blog uh, malik034 blogspot.com you can go ahead and then uh, refer this uh, content here Right, so it's getting down. Uh, meantime, we can take a duplicate session and uh, tail the log file. So always, so any activity you do, one of the best recommendation is uh, go ahead and then tail your log files. So because you'll see a lot of information in that one. Locate alert underscore db1.log is a command to get your uh, log file location. Right, you can see this is my log file location, alert log file, tail if and if. Yeah, this is your database shutdown completed. Database shutdown completed. Let's go ahead and start your database in upgrade mode. Right, so your database is getting started here. Ultra database mount, ultra database open, right, database mounted and database open. You can query or select instance underscore name, comma, uh, status from V dollar instance uh instance underscore name instance okay there's a typo here instance instance underscore name 
comma status you can see open migrate why open migrate because we started in upgrade mode at right, that's it so okay let's set your server output on and then run this command declare time zone integer and then i'm going to use this dbms dst package and i'm going to upgrade that one so let's run this command here right you can pale scale process successfully completed uh, your time zone version 32 and then an upgrade window has been successfully started. Your upgrade window has been started now. Now you can query this particular command that will gonna give you primary and secondary. Right, you can see, uh, okay, let's set column format A20, column property name format A20. Let's run that again, uh, column format, a10, run that command again, column value, format A10. Right, you can see uh, your property underscore name, DST primary time zone is set to 32, and DST secondary time zone version set to 26, and DST upgrade state is in upgrade mode. So again, verify one more time, column format, a30 run it now you can see primary version 32 it's gonna upgrade in target version and then this was your secondary the old version currently uh the old uh, what which was exist and then time zone package state is in upgrade mode right that's that so now we can do uh shut immediate and then start up your database in normal mode all right i'm gonna shut it down now The commands are very simple to upgrade your time zone. One DBMS package, you're gonna run this begin upgrade. And then once that is done, you can just, uh, once the payload skill process is successfully completed, and then you can shut it down and then start it. I can do startup now. All right, so this is your check primary and secondary time zone version. That is your uh, upgrade window, check your time zone primary and secondary. And the step number fifth is startup database in normal mode. Shut immediate done and then do startup, which is going to start your database in normal mode. Right, your database is started in normal mode here. Alter database mount, then your database is opened. But again, check uh, your database mode again here. Same thing using this command here. Uh, it will be in open mode now. Right, your, your database is start opened in normal mode. And again, do upgrade. This is our actual upgrade. Uh, sets are all put on and then declare. And then I'm gonna use this uh, DBMS time zone. And then I'm gonna uh, do this database uh, time zone upgrade. So run this one here. All right, so we're gonna start your upgrade here. PLSQL package is successfully completed. And then after that, now you can verify your time zone. Let's run this one here. You can see time zone version got upgraded to 30 32. So when very beginning of this process, when I started and I, when I verified this one, it was pointing to 26. That's the default uh, time zone version for 12C. And these are the two PLSQL DBMS uh, DTS package, uh, DST package. And then using that, you can upgrade your time zone to 32, right? Uh, now we can query this one, your primary and uh, Right, so primary is pointing to 32 and secondary become null and upgrade state become none. So we had successfully upgraded our time zone, right? So it's a straightforward, uh, you can use this DBMS or DST package to do a time zone upgrade from whenever you do database upgrade. Thank you guys.